Hey guys, I'm back with you Medici Bison Pro. In this video we will talk about camera of the new rugged smartphone. By the way, you can already watch unboxing, performance test and battery test videos of this mobile device. Yumodichi Bison Pro has a triple camera on the rear panel with 48 megapixels main sensor, 16 megapixels ultra wide angle lens, and 5 megapixels macro sensor. On the front, there is 24 megapixels camera. First, let's take a look at the camera up, and then I will show you sample photos and videos. So, in the camera app we have a beauty mode, video, picture, portrait and extra modes, such as night, panorama, pro and slow motion. In the picture mode we can choose 1x and 2x zoom, ultra-wide angle mode, macro mode. In addition, you can turn on off flashlight, AI, HDR and go to the settings menu. In the settings menu we can change picture size from 8 megapixels to 48 megapixels. There is also location, grid line, shutter sound, touch capture, self timer, and other functions. In the video settings menu, we can choose the maximum video resolution, Full HD. We can also turn on off microphone, but I don't see video stabilization here. Most likely, Yumodichi Bison Pro doesn't have image stabilization. I have already taken pictures during day and at night. Let's take a look at them. I will show you the photos in normal mode and ultra wide angle mode. You know the photos in daytime are very good, they have good detail and bright colors. Imidigi Bison Pro doesn't have a sensor, but there is a portrait mode. The portrait photos is very good, do you agree? I was surprised by 24 megapixel selfie camera of Yumodichi Bison Pro, and the selfies are very high quality. You can see the wrinkles on my face, as well as individual hairs on my beard. You can also take good photos at night, and it is better to avoid street lights. As you can see, the street lights leave stripes all over the screen on both normal photo mode and night mode. Talking about video shooting, the problem is the lack of image stabilization. You can see that the video is not stable, however, the video quality is very good. I also noticed that you cannot shoot video in wide-angle mode. Yes, you can take wide-angle photos, but not video. I don't know why. The problem of video shooting at night is the same as photo shooting. The street lights are overexposed. If you know how to fix this, write in the comments below. So, Yumodichi Bison Pro smartphone makes really good photos in daytime, but uh, there are some stripes on the photos because of the street lights at night. 
the same problem when shooting video at night. As for the shooting video in daytime, the quality is very good, but the video is not stable. It seems that the smartphone doesn't have image stabilization. What do you think about camera of Yuma Digi Bison Pro? Write in the comments below. Thank you for watching. In the next video we will talk about pros and cons of this rugged smartphone.